In this video presentation, we will configure the Cisco Email Security Appliance for SMTP authentication using LDAP. SMTP authentication can be used for many different purposes. Creating an authenticated session to allow mail to be relayed, commonly used for devices like multifunction printers or scanners, can be used for remote workers to allow them to relay email, and used to control applications that deliver email on behalf of the organization. In an earlier video, we configured the LDAP profiles. We will build upon that for SMTP authentication. Navigate to System Administration, LDAP. Highlight and edit your profile and enable SMTP authentication query. Using the test query, provide credentials and run your test. As observed, su success action match positive. Had I changed any of the query strings, the update would update the admin GUI. Click Submit commit my changes. Next, navigate to Network, SMTP Authentication, and add a profile. For this profile, I will call it SMTP Auth. I'm going to use the LDAP. For default encryption method, I'm using none. I have the ability to do verification. In this case, I'm simply going to click Finish. Commit my changes. Next, I will build a separate listener for those devices that need to use SMTP authentication. Click Add Listener. I will name it SMTP Auth Listen. I'm going to make it a private listener since it will not be receiving email from the internet and operate it on port 26. I will select the recently created SMTP Auth profile and submit. As you can see, I now have an incoming mail handler and an SMTP authenticated listener, both operating on the management interface of this device on ports 25 and 26. Commit my changes. Now I will want to configure my mail flow policies for the new listener. Next, we will create a mail flow policy, call it SMTP auth pol. I'm going to set the connection behavior to relay, and then on this policy, I will enable SMTP authentication as required. Navigate to the hat overview making sure I'm on the correct listener. I will change the relay list to use this newly created SMTP auth pol mail flow policy. Add a sender or a group of senders. Commit my changes. Now I simply have to tell the application vendors to use the listener on port 26, and it will require authentication and use the LDAP setup that we've configured. This concludes this video demonstration.